What is going on YouTube? One and only XRM here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. It is something a little bit different. We're gonna go over some tips and tricks on how to make your next track day successful, fun, without any weird issues. Something that gets wildly overlooked when you come out. You think you wanna go run, you think you wanna go fast, but you don't even prep your body to do any of that. One of the biggest things you need to try to do is stretch, warm up, get everything moving before you even get on the bike. Get your joints loose and really stretch out a little bit so that way your body is ready for what you're about to do out there. But let's go for a ride. All right, so after you stretch, you want to have an outlap. And what that means is you check to make sure there's no other riders coming first off. <laughs> What that means is you go at a pace that is to get your body, mind, tires, and bike warmed up and ready for action. If you normally do like 110 down there, do a little slower. Just get the rhythm back. Tires aren't warm, you're not warm. You know, so uh, you got to catch back up again, or warm back up again, which is fine. Like me, I just went crazy wide because I was being very gentle to throttle because the tires are very cool. I say cold to cool. And I cramped up earlier, so I'm trying to make sure I warm up enough that way I can keep riding. Also, this is a 30 minute session. So, I didn't go out until 15 minutes. Over slowing a bit, but that's fine. We're trying to get heat in the tires. And just take a lap or two and just work on some form. Remember the lines. Patience. And just kind of feel your way back around the track. Get acquainted with her. It's a dance. Like you know where you're gonna add throttle, where you're gonna add brake. And just kind of hit those points. Just at a much more subdued manner. And then, you can start ripping. And you'll see your pace can pick up. Because your body and bike loosen up and are warm. And your mind has sort of calibrated. <laughs> and And there you go. And that, my friends, is how you do a good couple warm-up laps, do a nice flying lap, and then just call it a session. You have all day. There's no need to rush anything. Things not feeling right? Pull in, take a nap, relax, calm down. It's the best thing ever. Another thing to consider when you come out to the track, even before you get here, make sure you're hydrated the night before because if you come out here and try to do something, 
you're gonna do what I did, which is cramp up like crazy, it's not gonna be fun. Another tip to make sure you have a successful track day is to start with a lead follow. Get someone that knows the track, especially if you've never been there, and show you around, show you the line, show you where to brake, especially braking, because there's some tracks that have blind corners and they will definitely get you out and make you have a very, very bad day, have that agricultural experience you're not looking to get, or you brake too hard, freak yourself out, and get intimate with pavement. You don't want that either. So I hope these tips and tricks were useful to you and you can implement them in your next track day. Remember to stretch, hydrate, do a lead follow, do a couple warm-up laps on your own every time you go out and you'll have a great track day and you know avoid those excursions you know what i'm saying but with that I hope you all have a good one i'm out